What if you wanted to find this exactly? Which is a definite integral, which is the exact amount of area. Now, clearly you need the area function. That is to say this creature here. In other words, if you were to see this on an exam, you would say to yourself, oh, there's going to be a new substitution. Why? Because I saw an exact example like that in Dr. G's class. So you would say to yourself, make a new substitution. Huh? And you do all the rigmarole. Which is not what you want. Because you know this the, your final answer is going to be a number. So you need to put some things here. And some professors do it that way. Whose professor told you to change these numbers? Whose professor told you to change those numbers? I will tell you, do not change those numbers. Why? Because you may make a mistake. Why make a mistake if it's unnecessary? What is the correct number here? Who says it's one? Raise your hand. Put it down. Who says it's five? Raise your hand. Put it down. You have to change it. And good luck with that. So I say don't do it. I'd say find the antiderivative and use it. It may involve a separate step, but you're not going to make a mistake changing it. In other words, find the antiderivative. System doing that way. There's no need to change the bound. You found the antiderivative here. Here it is. With the one half. Now you use it. What? There's no step in there where you are going to make a mistake changing the bounds. To do, we want to find antiderivatives, huh? We want to find antiderivatives. Okay, now go tell the go tell the dean that I'm not here yakking all the time. 